I'm chilling though, bro. It's a you see, dude. You already know what the fuck is going on. Hood life shit. Gotta feel that. Tell me what you know about the hood life. I can paint a picture what it look like. You know we can tell you ain't from around here. Why they so scared? It's a good life. You know the shots keep bumming, cops keep running in. Ops we hunting, they trying to stop the hustling. And we don't ever leave the house without an all. Everybody so want from really body boy. It's YBC door. <laughs> I know it's going on. Like <laughs> I don't know, bro. This why I, I would do these, bro. Man, bro. you good, bro. You see, I already know. So like I said, I definitely um, I've been tuning in a little bit and shit like that. As far as everything that's been going on with, sort of with the new music and shit like that, cause y'all, that it's like that's like a whole new wave of music for for as far as Philly and as far as just the culture for for real. So. When I was just doing my research, you was definitely one of the guys that was kept coming up. I see the views is heavy, um, over 100K as far as um, on one of your videos. And then you got multiple videos where you just touching like 100K plus type of views and shit. So just speak about that a little bit as far as you saying who you is, where you from, how you got introduced to the music. Yeah, uh, fuck man. I ain't even, bro, I don't even, I ain't wasn't even no rapper, bro. My homies rap shit, but. I just was, I mean, fucking around and shit. I just hopped on a track and I started rapping and shit. But I only been rapping for like, like eight months, like nine months now, probably. Yeah, but YBC, we from down the bottom, we from West, from West Philadelphia, to be exact. No, that's why y'all was laughing, right? Yeah. Right here in Philly, North Philly, to be exact, and shit like that. So, um, go ahead and introduce yourself to the people who ain't familiar with you. A little bit as far as, cause, um, once you type it in, it definitely like multiple names come up and multiple views and shit like that. So, for the people who ain't familiar. Yeah, no, there's a lot of rappers. J100, Mary Pop, Fat Scene, Rambo, me. People that's booked, you know, y'all know the niggas that's booked though. They the niggas that's was women and all that. Them niggas, that five, three, five, reek. But man, that John, you just that John scared. Me. But I ain't gonna lie though, they know what's up. Like we the hottest niggas in the city. It's Mr. Disrespect. We dropped so many shows on the nine, that shit the gun range. Like, um, not all too deep, but what year was, you would say that like, y'all started and shit like that? Like, how everything formed together? Like, no, nah, like, we've been the same, like, we all been the same homies, like, we've been the same niggas, but, you feel me? The name YBC, we probably made that shit up. Uh, yeah, we wound up making the name up, but we've been YBC before YBC even was created. That shit, you feel me? Yeah. All right, so like you said, you said you just started doing music and shit like that. So as a young boy, you ever see yourself as far as like being an artist? <coughs> yeah, new rap, you mean? Because feel like a city of everybody rap for real, for real. No, I don't have a rap, I have a rap. That shit the funniest shit. That shit was... <laughs> we in the trenches right yeah. now. Yo, that shit. That yo. shit. But no, though, fucking. Oh, you funny as shit. I ain't gonna hold the bloopers for this joint, but good. <laughs> no, but like, I ain't never, like, picture myself rapping, though. Like, I fuck with rap. Like, I used to fuck with rap, though, growing up, but I ain't never picture myself rapping. Lock, the joint. Lock that joint, too, bro. You got an airplane? Yeah. I never heard no car outside. I should take him back. <laughs> How, how was your childhood and shit like that? Because you said, like, as a young boy, you wasn't really into the music shit. So what, like, you know what I'm saying? How was your young boy day? No, like, I definitely fucked with music and all that, but, like, I ain't never was, like, rapping when I was a young boy. But, like, when I was a young boy, like, I used to be a badass young boy. But, like, I ain't really, like, play sports and all that. I was ass. You come from, like, a double parent or single parent household? Single. Single? Yeah, my mom. So how was that for you? Like, is it for like, um, you know, we all come from like that single parent household, and do you feel like it's a difference as far as a single parent and double parent household and shit? I don't know. I don't. 
That shit is, that shit is nutty though, but you know, that shit normal where we come from, so that shit is the right. Everybody ain't used to some people fortunate if you having that shit, but everybody else, that shit regular. That shit ain't about nothing. Thanks though. But but like you said, um from us it's like normal and shit like that, but to the rest of the world, like Especially, I be dealing with a lot of different type of mixes and different cultures and shit like that. They look at it like they can't like fathom and shit like that. So um, yeah, that should be like like where the motherfuckers like or like not normal. Yeah, that shit. Mm -hmm. That's it. I don't know, bro. Why no, it is? So yeah. yeah, man. So just moving forward and shit like that. You say you only been doing music for nine months. What was it that first made you really, really want to fuck with the music? Oh, like, I just always be in the studio. I got like a lot of rap niggas that like feel me. A lot of niggas that was rapping around me, so we always was in the studio. Like feel me. So like that shit wasn't easy to get in the studio, but that shit was just like, mm -hmm. I just like this one beat. I was just busy one day. I'm like, I'm hopping on. Y'all niggas tripping. Like they like, bro, you don't rap, bro. Like you not getting on. I'm like, bro. Yeah, on this job, I just got on that job. Is that right? Yeah, um, when did you do your first go? That job, I don't know, but that job about to hit 100K though. All my shit at 100K now, but eventually that should be at 90K. But when they first dropped that shit, probably hit like, I don't know, that shit was going up, bro. We dropped that job on our tape and all that, bro. So you said you from like the bottom area and shit like that, right? Yeah. What's it like coming up from the bottom? Cause like I said, um, you know, every part of Philly different, and that's definitely like its own, its own little world inside of a world for world for world. You know what I'm saying so. For one, do y'all like? Or is the bottom West Philly and like? No, we the bottom. Bottom. Like we the bottom. Bottom. Ain't <laughs> the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like that's not. Uh, that's, that's the that's the, the bottom, bottom of West. West. <laughs> like, Wayne West, but like that's the, the whole, bottom of West. Like a world, that's a different part of the place. Niggas don't even like ride through the there. You get what I'm saying? The bottom of that's what I'm saying. The top of North. Like, like citizens, like like civilians don't even like riding through yeah, there. You get what I'm saying? Bro. Because that shit wicked. It's wicked down there. Okay. So what is the cutoff point? Because that's like definitely like one of them. Like you ain't from there. Don't know why you really like. You mean don't come there. Don't come there. Well, listen, right. I ain't, I can't really tell you like what's the what's the cutoff point, but I know this is all I'm gonna tell you. YBC, we got that shit from 42nd. We got that shit from 43rd Street to 34th Street. No, no. YBC got it from. Yeah, we got it from. We got it from. We got it from. From 33rd Street all the way to fucking 64th and Collins. Uh, yeah, but but no, I'm saying our section though, like no, it's real shit though. Our section though, that shit from 43rd Street to all the way to. To the, 30 30, to the pound. It's right? to the pound. To the pound. Me. To the five. Now That's why we see. Um, and we all like, um, of course, like, do other parts of West like kind of look down at y'all a little bit? Shit, cause you know, like West, like, you got one field. That's like the, you mean? That's shit, like that shit. suburbs. Fact, basically, the suburbs, mm -hmm. world for world. OVP and all them type Johns. Yeah. You see the home, you gotta like just ride through there. Uh, look, they, look they, at the bottom home. It's uh, look at the they look nice up there. So, that shit look nice up there. Brick homes and all that. Like, major brick homes. Alleyways and all that. The little drive through John. No alley pits. That's wrong in the hood. You ain't got alley pits. Yeah, you know what you mean. Yeah, that shit ain't acting around there. Ain't no chinks or none of that. <laughs> <laughs> no, this might be a chinks, a little chinks. You know what I'm saying? Nobody go, there, <laughs> <laughs> Nobody go there though. Nobody go there though. Nigga said nobody go there though. White boy, can I hit you? Can I hit the weed, bro? What you say? No, you go ahead, bro. I already know you like the weed. You <laughs> skip me the whole time. I've been peeping. I've been peeping. They just skip me the whole time. Did I hit that drum? It's not giving no killer. You got your own killer. Roll up. Mm -mm. Y'all smoked it. Lying. I uh, smoked it. Uh, don't be rolling a lot.
That's what I'm saying. Like, how y'all like just freezy like that? Like, y'all just walk around rolling up weed and then like. Just talk about just growing up in Philly and shit like that. As far as just the culture of Philly and like just. Just growing up around like like the violence of the city for work for work, it, it become like second nature to us as it's just coming up. No, like yeah, Philly, Philly was Philly was Philly was like a little burnt out, but like Philly ain't like how it is now. Philly, that shit, yeah. Why do you think it's, like that? Though? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Like I don't know. I just feel as though like niggas got homies that's dying, bro. Like, this shit real, bro. Like, niggas homies dying, bro. Like, niggas not about to just, <laughs> feel me? Niggas homies dying, bro. I don't want my homies die to this shit, like, feel me? Like, this shit real. Like, niggas got, like, you know. Like, take it back to, like, our before that situation as far as, because I definitely feel like it, it'd be a difference. I feel like it'd be a switch after that shit. Just be somebody that been through that shit, that lost somebody that was close to me by another nigga that was close to me. Talk about as far as, do you feel like it was a switch that had happened inside of you when you lost your home? Oh, shit, bro. All right. That shit just be like, at first that shit was, yeah, but like now, bro, I ain't gonna lie, I'm be numb to that shit, bro. I have be all this other shit going on, bro. Like more like, feel me, I don't really lose homie like that. Like my niggas like really like fighting drama. For real, for real. But like, that losing homie shit, that shit like, feel me, but like, I, I ain't gonna lie, like, I'm prepared for this shit, like, feel me, like, I'm, like, yeah. niggas know what we signed up for, like, I mean, I ain't, bro, like, I don't know, bro, like, I ain't one of them type niggas that's gone, feel me? Yeah, no, I talk that shit. Head, that boy a dolphin. Bro, so like, for me, like, I ain't about to just, I ain't, I don't know. That shit just. I get the way for it, like, you stand on, like, as far as what you, you know what I'm saying? Like, if it was fucking nigga back then, it's still fucking, you know what I'm saying? And not saying like that to promote shit, but I feel like I get that vibe as far as you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, we do sign up for shit, we do got a choice for real, for real, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So something I do want to um, speak about. How you feel about as far as like the um, Chicago way for? Because I do feel like Philly, not even just Philly, but the world is just being influenced world for real. No, oh, like no, nah, like sure, like motherfuckers watched them, watched all them niggas growing up and all that. Like, but like niggas done wind up like feel me. They got their own shit going yeah, on now, so they going feel me. Yeah, they definitely, they definitely. Feel me? They were turned, but like, I don't know, bro. Like, damn, them niggas ain't fucking with me, bro. I be talking dirty. I ain't, ain't on um, we on. <laughs> we Philly, like. Yeah, no, no, that's a fact, though. But as far as I feel like, um, just like, cause we wasn't never, like, we was always active, but I feel like now, as far as the internet shit, I feel like they definitely made it like cool. Yeah. It kind of made me like popularize and shit. Even it's niggas in Philly that see phone number for real, for real. That's like a part of the lingo and shit. Yeah, no, nah, for sure, for sure. But like, well, um, what's it called though? I was about to fucking say, like, I don't even know, bro. It's real shit, bro. That Chicago shit definitely got niggas turned though, but that shit. So, let's talk about the music and shit like that as far as like, the new wave of music for real for real because me I understand like I ain't really into the drill shit for real for real. I don't really listen to a lot of motherfuckers, but I do understand it just because it's just y'all just talking y'all shit for real. Y'all just it's just a new form of music for real for real. So talk about as far as like motherfuckers like not understanding y'all wave of music and shit. No like it's like for real for real, like I don't know. It's it's a lot of I don't know like I just be on take time, like, I'm just gonna talk my shit, like, I don't really got, like, that shit just, like, I don't know, bro, niggas be, like, on some, that shit just, I don't know, like, that rap shit weird, bro, I ain't no rapper, so, like, feel me, I can't explain that shit, I'm not no rap nigga, I just talk my shit, I just be saying, like, what's going on, like, I just be disrespecting niggas, 
And yeah, I be saying real life shit. I don't, I can't like vote for what other niggas, but like, for me. But that shit, that shit definitely lit right now though. That shit taking off though. That shit blowing up. And a lot of niggas going up off like dissing they ops. Like, that shit. That shit definitely some like some Chicago shit though. Yeah, so how you get the name as far as disrespect? But I listened to a couple of your joints. Like, like, I know a while ago you was in the spittle and shit like that. So you want to talk about that a little bit? Yeah. I fucked myself up. I'm still fucked up right now. I'm not even supposed to be outside right now. I'm what happened? If you don't mind me asking. Man. That's a race. That's a memory. That shit happened, bro. I ain't got that car accident. I fucked my leg up and shit. That shit, my leg mangled. And my shoulder broke. My shoulder fractured, my shit ain't broke. I'm high as shit right now. They got me off all these medicines and shit. My legs and shit all fucked up. Arms all fucked up. I'm all fucked up, like. <laughs> they cooked me. What up? They said I look like Nook. <laughs> What up? <laughs> Nook not disrespectful as me though. Like he ain't, yeah, he don't, he ain't disrespectful. He ain't, ain't talk, he don't talk dirty like me. Nick, Nick, we got a Nick. What do you think one of your most disrespectful lines was? I don't got, I can't, I don't got no most disrespectful line. Most disrespectful line? I would have pissed on it. I ain't dropped that though. I would've made that little bit fuck the block. That's the disrespectful bar. No, I said, I said on fuck the block. No, I said, I said on fuck the block. You said, I smoked so much. I said, I said, I just did so much, I smoked so much. I don't know. It's a million. I said, I said, I said, um, what's that journal or just did? I said, I don't even know. <laughs> he said, I don't even know either, but you was talking dirty on that joint. Three different blocks. Right. We done been the whole West. <laughs> we looking for I said, they told me, he said, they told me, don't this the dead I'm like, I can't stop. <laughs> 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 Shit, that's some shit. Nah, that's some shit. Nah, I don't know. I don't know. Nah, that's some shit. 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 Nah, Everybody won't do it with somebody and shit. Yeah, that's how they try and get like, like, you know, you won't get your clout like that. I guess. I ain't gonna lie, we got niggas famous right now. We getting niggas famous right now. And we to talk about the city. Like we, I said, we to talk about the city. We to talk of the city. Everybody keep talking about us. We look like, hey, we just turn topic. That shit drawn. They keep trolling us on Instagram and YouTube, Jones, and they making. Got, they even got. They even got. YBC they, versus the city. They even got the heat. Yeah, they they trolling us. One of my next questions. The young bag chasers. Why I want to know how you feel about as far as like bloggers, like the pages and shit like that. Like, like, like you see, I don't really know. No, you they be drunk because like they be like they be like saying shit that they don't even be knowing what they be talking about. Like they just be talking. I mean, that's what they that's what they supposed to do. That's their job. They that's what they do. They yeah. blog and they that's but they not incriminating nobody because they not even they giving up a from. But they is yeah they giving up some uh, assumptions. But like bro, that's yeah they. They on some weird shit though, for sure, for sure. But they be lying, just though. be on some like, I don't know. Lies be lying all the time. Yeah, cause I feel like like uh, it's definitely ways to go about shit. Like you said, I don't know you, but I reached out to you. You feel me? I gave you a chance, and you gave me a chance, and you was like, yeah, we could do it and shit like that. But I feel like the way they go about it, sometimes they just be like running with shit, and sometimes they just paint a picture that ain't really there with certain shit. You feel me? But um, my next question was. Like I said, we've been we're supposed to link up. And then yesterday I was supposed to get up with you, but today I seen like this clip that was viral and shit like that as far as like the um was it DAO or some shit like that. They were saying like shouting out all the clicks and things like that that's going on in Philly. Like what's your thoughts about that? 
I don't got no comment on that. I don't. Don't have nothing I'm saying or nothing. I don't. I don't. Just, just stop mentioning us. We chilling. We trying to get rich. We ain't on nothing. Don't mention us. No effects though. Cause I feel like maybe some of the like blog pages and shit like that, like painting pictures might just be adding to it. And that might be the reason for real for real why they just like think it's more than what it really is for real. Yeah, this shit is entertainment, bro. This shit ain't about nothing. Niggas just trying to get rich, bro. Facts though. No, facts now. Um, just going back to the music and shit. What's up with the tape, man? You got projects coming out? Bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro. When I was in my... Bro, when I was in an accident, bro, I lost my phone, bro. I had all my music. So, that shit just like... That shit ain't about nothing, bro. We gonna make 10 songs. We gonna make 10 songs tomorrow. That shit easy, but we ain't worry about that shit, bro. That shit, we just gotta, we just gotta, we gotta, we gotta do some other shit first before we, like, really go hard with the music shit. Like, we gotta, feel me? Niggas gotta hop in them Facts, though. Facts, though. Niggas gotta hop in them Facts, though. Niggas gotta hop in them Facts, though. So one thing I do want you to highlight as far as, um, some of the artists that was doing this shit as far as like before um, you, but some of the guys that you was cool with that kind of made like the way for you to do your thing and shit like that. Cause I ain't too familiar with y'all, but I just doing my research, I know it's a lot of, I know it's a lot of y'all. I believe the bull, um, I don't want to say his name wrong, Rick Hunter. Rick Tough Hunter. Yeah, he was putting in a lot of work and shit like that also. So let's talk about that a little bit. Like, all right, like, nigga, like, all right, like Jay, Jay, Jay Hunter, he started that shit off. I mean, he got his, like, YBC rolling on the music tip. Then, like, I don't mean, F5 had came home. He was doing the little juvenile bit or whatever. Feel me? And, uh, he had came home and shit. The nigga, uh, he started rapping and shit. He had blew up and shot the little song and shit. Blew up and shit. Then he got us cracking again. Now we are, now we really rolling. Feel me? Five just keep driving, keep driving. Now me and five dropping shit together, feel me? Twelve, me twelve, five, we all dropping shit. So five get booked or whatever, feel me? Then you know, Reek was on the run or whatever, feel me? But Reek was still we still dropping, me and Reek still dropping, me and Reek holding shit down, feel me? We got this shit jumping. So, you know Reek just got, feel me, he got grabbed or whatever. But they hope they be home soon though. Yeah, no, that's a fact. Cause you definitely keeping the ball rolling and shit like that. Cause, cause like I said, I'm a little familiar with, with the name, but just when I was doing my research as far as like the guy that's making noise right now and shit like that, you was definitely one of the ones that popped up and shit like that. So it was like the, the shit that they did, you kind of keeping it rolling and taking this shit a little step further too. Oh yeah. So yeah, man. Um, before we get out of here, is anything else you want to talk to the people? Any of you guys you want? Any music that you got coming out? Shit like that. No, I ain't got no music. I ain't got no music coming out, bro. We ain't dropping nothing. We just gonna show niggas. Y'all gonna see.